It is going to be the Pyro and Mithra that is of choice. And we are starting on Town and City. So they have not elected to go for the PS2 start. Straight away, Joker getting right in there with the uh, Foresight on the T-Jolt rolling through. Um, doing a very good... Doing a very good with the uh, with the juggling and putting pressure on Pikachu with the uh, rapid jab. Let's see what it can make of the ledge trap with the uh, Pyra. Not really too effective, a bit too committal. And now uh, Chain's not able to capitalize with the Nair punish, but should. No. Has elected for a side B. I assume that's a missing put, but now getting Pikachu advantage state onto Pyra. Joker realistically probably needs to get off this character and back into Mithra, who is a lot safer to deal with Pikachu. There we go. Um, being able to uh, roll through the T-Jolts uh, and kind of react with Foresight is very, very useful for Mithra in this matchup to avoid being put in nasty disadvantage situations. Keeps catching the uh, T Jones back onto stage with the uh, with the dash attack. Still not able to take the stock. Probably needs to look for any stray hit as Pyra now because Mithra still won't be killing for a little bit outside of a committal smash attack. And you really don't want to give Pikachu that opening if you whiff something like an F smash or an up smash. Yeah. Chain's being very patient there and waiting out the option. Very very smart not to overcommit. Brought back a significant lead, but is going to SD with an accidental side B. Unfortunate. Now Joker's just going to restart the pressure, overcommitting with the dash attacks, one of Mithra's few unsafe moves. The back air is going to... No, Chains doesn't commit to finishing the edge guard. Uh, and Joker is able to get back to stage and back into neutral. He's going to be able to extend his lead. Interesting choice to switch to Pyra here. We're back to Mithra again. Nice. Caught with the dash attack to close out the stock. Only 27% of extra credit, so easily made back by chains. Um, but it seems like he's been struggling a little bit with this Mithra in neutral. Players trading back and forth. Chain's able to get quite a meaningful advantage state, racking up 31%. Joker's being a little bit too trigger happy with these forward tilts and uh, moves that are whiffing like mad. Obviously, Mithra is a very fast and safe character, but you cannot just freely swing. And talking about freely swinging, he whiffs the down air and is immediately punished by a thunder call out. Chain's all of a sudden in a very advantageous position, can afford to slow the pace a little bit. Look for a punish and put Joker off stage where he can get potentially a very easy game. Gonna, can't use T-Jolt too carelessly, otherwise the uh, punish will come through. An unfortunate whiff on the F-Smash. Pikachu just being uh, shot up a little bit too high by the down tilt of the ledge. Interesting. Oh. Uh, a very uh, strong call out there from Chains getting punished. A little bit too overzealous. Could have gone for a much safer option. It is interesting to note that when Chains does uh, grab combos, he's electing for up airs because they're single hit moves rather than um, the uh, the immediate forward airs, which I think can be spot dodged because they're not particularly true. Drag down there. Ooh, the Thunder isn't going to quite send off the top of town and city. Oh, Joker's gone too low. He's fast forward into straight into the blast zone. Unfortunate for game one. Joker seemed to have like a very strong candle on the early uh, on the early aspects of the game, and unfortunately just let it slip with uh, some bad disadvantage decisions. It's your boy, Steven Regenix Mega Man. I don't get a chance to talk on comms much, so this is a rare a rare opportunity while I'm not playing and there's so many TOs that I'm not exactly needed to run stuff at the minute. 
Game two, back to town and city. Uh, obviously, Joker felt that the stage wasn't exactly the problem. Um, quite happy to run it back. Needs to make better use of Pithra in this game if he can. Um, especially when it comes to taking stocks. You don't really want to be letting Pikachu live to 150%, which is an issue that you found with the last game. Uh, if you get any sort of F-tilt, up-tilt, um, the up air not killing just yet off the top of town and city. A forward air there would have done it to call out Pikachu's jump there from ledge. But having to go back to Mithra in order to maintain a, uh, a strong handle on neutral. Interesting that uh, Foresight caught there, but alas. Chains is going to be able to remove the pressure with a dash attack, but he's going to get scooped up by the up smash. Um, we'll see what kind of extra credit uh, Joker can build. Jo uh, Joker now being a little bit more cautious uh, when pushed out wide and electing for more jump air dodges rather than trying to swing against Pikachu. Good set of up air chains there to uh, build a nice 50% uh, of extra credit. He's going to keep going with uh, Pikachu stuck at the ledge. Chains is just whiffing a bit too much and Joke is able to react with pretty much any of Mithra's moves. Very, very, very well played so far. Again, just a little bit, uh, a little, little bit unfortunate with the uh, with the down tilt. I'm not sure if that's true at that percent, or he needs, or Chains needs to be a little bit lower percent, or it's a DI thing. The Chains is avoiding death. That would have killed. If the Chains got out of the way. Oh, the down tilt sending at a disgusting angle. And an overcommittal down air is going to lead to another up smash kill. Joker more than content to take his time. Work out his kills slowly but surely. Nice wait. Nice bait out both of the uh, F smash and the up smash there. Chain's getting a little bit too desperate for kills, methinks. Mithra is just all over this card. I think the up throw is going to kill here. Yeah, it will. Chains has quite the mountain to climb, but Pikachu's ability to gimp players off stage, especially with Mithra's weaker uh, recovery and certainly Pyra's weaker recovery as a result, is going to uh, make a comeback entirely possible. Electing to go for Pyra here is, an, again, an interesting choice. Pikachu really isn't in any, any sort of... Danger for death, although that's quickly changing with the damage racking up to 80 plus percent. Could have spot dodged there, but elected not to, and he's going to get carried off the stage. The switch is going to get caught, and the thunder isn't going to connect. He's a little bit too slow there, but he's making a good lead back. Down smash is not going to take it quite yet, and the forward air is going to scoop. Mithra down out of the side B, uh, the high side B to uh, to stage and take the stop. Again, hard mountain to climb, but wow, that F smash is huge and is going to pick Chains out of the tech situation and send him straight to the side blast zone. And we're heading to game number three. Chains gets the stage counter pick. It will be interesting to see what he elects to do with it. Town and City feels like a bit of a dangerous stage for Pikachu. Um, Chains looked like he was struggling a lot. Um, and we're going to SBF. No character changes. We will see what. Uh, Chains is able to do with the static platforms and a lot less space for Mithra to move around in. Um, straight into the back air, Chains is going to get two. It's going to get clipped, unfortunately, just by the uh, end of that side B. Could have netted an easier F smash punish there, maybe. Joker now taking the advantage, keeping chains at ledge, catching with down tilts into F tilts, carrying from one side of the stage to the next. 
Prominence Revolt is not going to land and is a very committal thing on stage, but doesn't really get an optimal punish out of it. Chains is a little bit scared, I think, in some situations. Certainly needs to be more prolific with the... Uh, with his damage conversions. Still very close and obviously the weakest state of neutral um, against Pikachu is going to be this Pyra. The chains needs to be very careful with the buttons he's pressing. He'll be into the stage but the foresight again is going to punish the T-Jolt. He's missed the tech again off the forward throw straight into the F smash. I believe you can get away with that by DIing up, but maybe, maybe that's being attempted and I'm wrong. Joker's parries have been very good if it's not foresight. He's finding every little bit of frame advantage he can get. <laughs> he can get. Excuse me. Second prominence revolt. Chains is really struggling here. He's still not able to take the stock. 140 for the Pyra. Keeps over committing with these upbeats. He really needs to be patient with uh, his ledge trapping not to get reversed. Right now, Joker's just uh, just going to keep spacing him out and then goes into the upbeat on the uh, on the over commitment and the whiff from Chains. Chains is, is getting tilted. You can see the F smashes coming out. Finally takes a stock off with the dash attack. Similar position to game two. Got a lot of work to do, but it is possible. There we go. As soon as you see the uh, the multi hit from Pikachu, you can spot dodge that stuff on shield. Pikachu seems very limited in neutral. Has to make the most of every interaction here, and potentially has to wait out the baited air dodges. Goes above the ledge. Very risky when that pyro was set up for down air. He's going to drag away from the ledge. He's going to get the thunder straight into the blast zone and he's going to take the stock. And all of a sudden, it's looking good. That was an excellent edge guard scenario there from Chains. Very, very good use of uh, abusing um, Pyramithra's limited offstage resources. Can he do it again? The damage is racking up and he's going to have to play very, very cautiously. Lightning Buster isn't going to get it. So able to punish the air dodge out at disadvantage. Back to Pyra. Ah, uh, the up air's not going to be enough forward there To put him in another bad position. Has to be very careful from these left tilts. He's able to get away and out of range of the dash attack. First option. Joker almost getting sent off the top by the thunder. Oh, scramble situations now. Catches with the forward air. The jump's gone. Pyra's back. Don't want to be above Pyra. Good use of the forward air. We'll see if Chains can catch the jump. He gets the dash attack. Dangerous situation now. Forward throw. It should be an S-Mash. It's going to be the dash attack and it's going to be off the top. What a comeback.